Hello everyone, my name is Purity and today I'll be showing you guys how to stream with very slow or bad internet. So I stream every single day over at Twitch. The link to that will be on screen right now as well as in the description. And I've been streaming for a long, long time, more than five years at this point. And when I started out, I did not have near the speed that all these other big streamers had. But I still wanted to make my stream as stutter free and as good quality as I could. Here are a couple of settings that you can change right now so that you can stream no matter how bad your internet is. I will have a screenshot on screen right now of what my internet looked like before. Just so that you guys know that yeah my internet was pretty bad and I was still able to stream at a pretty good quality in order to grow my following so first we're gonna start with the OBS settings the first one you're gonna wanna look into is output um, once you go to output you're gonna wanna look for this right here it says rate control and you're gonna set that to VBR there's a couple of options here just choose the VBR from here you look on to bitrate now bitrate basically is the amount of kilobits that you're gonna be pushing out there onto the internet per second. Um, right now I have mine set to 6,000 um, kilobits. That is, you know, way higher than what you should have it at. So I remember I used to have it somewhere in between uh, 800 and 1,000. If you have similar internet to what I used to have, set that setting to somewhere in between that, like I said. And then once you choose VBR, you'll notice that we're given not only the bitrate uh, setting, but we can also uh, change this setting right here. It says CRF. Now I'm gonna change this and you're gonna wanna change this to somewhere between 15 and 23. Now what that's gonna do is it'll basically compromise a little bit, just a tiny little bit of the quality, but it will, um, make it a little bit less stuttery and a little bit more constant so if you have bad internet like i said if you have something like i used to have set this to literally 23 that's what i had it on and now i've been experimenting and i think right now i'm gonna set it to somewhere around 10 or 5 i'm gonna put it to 5 right now just to experiment um because basically just keep in mind that the closer you are to zero the less loss in terms of quality that you're gonna have but also if you have less loss in terms of quality you're also gonna have to have a better internet um, so I'm confident that my internet is better at this point but if you're still not there and you have something as what I used to have set this to 23 maybe even 25 I had this on 23 and it was pretty good for me so if you want to push it a little bit harder go for 25 but that will start having a little bit more and more impact on the way your gameplay looks. And now that's pretty much about it for the output. And then now we go over here to video. Now I'm recording right now, so it's not gonna let me change any um, settings right here. But basically, you're gonna wanna put output to 720p, uh, which is 1280 by 720. And the reason you're gonna wanna do this is well, like I said, I mean, if you have slow internet, it's not really the best, you know. You can't have the luxury of trying to stream at 1080p. And I don't think you can even stream at 1080p if you're not affiliate. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments right now. That's how it used to be when I wasn't affiliate. Uh, but basically, just set this to 720p. I would say even try to play between the 720 and 480p area those are still pretty much watchable and they'll get you the most bang for your buck if you could say it that way and then over here on common FPS values you're gonna want to set this to 30 uh, like I said with the same with the 1080p thing as here you can't really have the luxury of streaming at 60 FPS if you have really bad internet. So just set this to 30. And a lot of times, even if you do want to set it to 60 and 1080p, um, since your internet is not going to be as powerful, it will even look worse than if you actually set it to 720p and 30 FPS from the beginning. Because it's going to be trying its hardest to push itself over 
its max capacity and it's just not gonna hit it and it's just not gonna look good um, so that's about it for here on video uh, the last thing you want to do is go over here in advanced now this is something that's actually really overlooked I know that for myself it did a really big difference and a lot of people that I've told it also makes a big difference on their stream um, so like I said if you start off with really bad internet set a stream delay now you're gonna want to set this stream delay anywhere in between 10 seconds and 30 seconds I'd say it's completely perfect it's the it's a good balance in between a nice delay that's gonna uh, help you get better quality but also not that big of a delay that your viewers are gonna be like this isn't even a live stream at this point you know so if you have really bad internet just set this to 30 maybe even 25 you know like I said keep experimenting with it and get yourself the perfect timing stream delay literally works wonders and then finally um, you can bind uh, an IP right here you can bind your OBS to a static IP just so you can give it that little extra bonus um, for your OBS to be that little much faster that little much more stronger it's just a tiny little difference but a hey, a little difference adding on adding on adding on adding on to what we already did all the other steps really comes a long way so really look into that if you can and well obviously boys just connect your computer through ethernet cord that should come without saying now that's it for the OBS settings however there are still some other settings and extra tips that I want to give you guys that will hopefully make your slow internet streams a lot lot better so if you implement both the OBS settings with what I'm about to say it'll get your stream looking way better I guarantee it so first off you can change the latency of your stream on twitch by going to settings and then channel and videos and then you scroll down over here to where it says latency mode I have mine set to low latency just have this on normal latency I think this is the default but just to make sure you can change it there and you should also turn on disconnect protection um, it says it right here improve the viewing experience for your stream by enabling a backup in the event your stream is disconnected and well as for the tips here are a few first one whenever somebody comes into your stream try to read their message as soon as possible and let them know that there is a bit of delay on the stream that way they know that they're not just being ignored and well this should probably come to you by common sense I mean if somebody comes into your stream you read his chat as fast as possible but you really gotta make an emphasis on this if you have a stream delay on because let's say you say something so I'll say something and then the stream will take up to 30 seconds to watch what I just said so you gotta make it clear and make it as fast as you can that hey I have a this much of delay so if I take some time to respond it's just because of that but don't worry I am here I'm not ignoring you You know that type of stuff goes a long way so make sure you do that the second tip I have for you guys is play offline games or solo games. if you're playing online this will also take away from your internet and we don't want it being any slower if it's already slow by itself let it be like that don't take even more away make sure you play offline games or solo games if you can and I mean man even if you try to at least in my experience I was lagging all over the place it was literally unplayable and lastly try to play games that do not have too many fast movements this is because since you set your bitrate quite low in the beginning of the video fast movements will look very very pixelated so try to avoid that like I said these are some tips that I noticed from my own experience streaming with that internet that's all the tips and all the settings I got for you guys today just a little reminder is that I do stream every day over at twitch the link to that will be on screen right now as well as in the description if you do want to check that out and if you haven't already make sure you like the video subscribe with notifications on and comment any other tips you may have for streaming with slow internet I upload a YouTube video three times per week so stay tuned for that and that's pretty much it peace